AOV Road to Mastery, Liliana. Welcome to Arena of Valor's Road to Mastery for Liliana the Elegant. A hero who can freely switch forms to control and easily wrap you around her little finger, Liliana does all of this elegantly. Liliana can pounce on you with her claws in the blink of an eye, putting you in a world of pain. Elegant indeed. For the more advanced gameplay aspects of Liliana, feel free to skip to the second half of this video. Learning the Basics Leveling your abilities. While in human form, Liliana's first ability will add 80 points of damage every time you level it up, while the second ability will only add 30 points of damage. 80 versus 30. Which one should you level up first? You know what to do. Max out the first ability first, then follow it up with the second ability, then level up her ultimate whenever it's available. Basic Combos Combos are essential in efficiently dealing damage. Did you know that Liliana has two sets of abilities? Yes, two. Correctly getting the combo off on the battlefield is a sight to behold. However, you need to be quick and precise. Otherwise, you will see this. Check out her most explosive combo in a one-on-one -on -one fight. First off, after 5 seconds in Fox form, charge forward and initiate using the second ability. Follow it up with the first ability to get off a triple hit. Then, while reading the opponent's movement, use the second ability again. Connect it with her ultimate and then switch to human form. At the same time, use the second ability to get close and stun, then follow it up with the first ability. The combo sequence is as follows. Ability 2 to Ability 1. Then a normal attack followed by Ability 2, then Ultimate, then Ability 2 and Ability 1. Combolicious! For talents, please use Flicker if you are new to playing Liliana. If you are an advanced player, get Endure or Flicker. Liliana can use Endure to protect herself from getting nuked down too quickly. This is especially important if the enemy has at least two assassins. Liliana's ultimate is extremely lethal to most squishy heroes, especially Fennec and Slims. These two lovely marksmen are the perfect prey for Liliana. Liliana is weak against assassins, particularly Wukong, the Monkey King. He can get close to Liliana while invisible and then deal explosive damage. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. When facing high burst damage heroes on the battlefield, Liliana should be wary of the brush to avoid a gank. She can first harass while in human form, then begin to get in close once the target is low. Boots, boots, boots. We all need boots. Liliana generally should equip enchanted kicks, but when facing heavy control, equip gilded greaves. In the early game, go for sustainable mana regeneration. A mage without mana is no different than a super minion, so get Orb of the Magi and Rhea's Blessing to ensure that Liliana has the mana to take part in fights. Next, it's time to boost Liliana's damage. Get Hecate's Diadem as the fourth item and Bereth's Agony as the fifth item. Bereth's Agony provides cooldown speed, allowing Liliana to switch between forms more easily. At this point in the game, the enemy team most likely will already have a decent amount of magic defense, so the magic penetration provided by Staff of Newell will especially be useful. One thing worth mentioning, if the enemy assassin or marksman has very high damage, then get Mail of Pain as the fourth item, as its damage reflection can make Liliana into a type of deadly, prickly hedgehog, figuratively speaking. For Arcana, focus on getting ability power and magic penetration. As she can already dash around the battlefield, we decided not to recommend movement speed Arcana for her and instead focus on her raw damage dealing potential. For level 2 Arcana, get Corruption, Revelation, and Corrosion. For level 3 Arcana, Violate, Devour, and Hex. Advanced Gameplay Here are some advanced techniques that could give you a leg up in any situation. 1. When in Fox form, her normal attacks can trigger a critical hit. 2. 
When in fox form, Liliana's second ability has a slow second stage dash, so when fighting enemies with dash abilities, use it on them when they're under a control effect, otherwise they could dodge it. 3. When in human form, Liliana's second ability will stun nearby targets when the main target is hit. Oh no, stay away from me you pesky minions! That being said, she can leverage this effect to first hit a minion and subsequently stun the targeted enemy hero. 4. When in fox form, Liliana's second stage of the second ability will have some prep time before actually going off. During this time, it can be interrupted by control effects, so use it after the enemy exhausted their control options. 5. Whoa! Liliana is actually invincible while switching forms. 6. Liliana can use her first ability to strengthen her normal attack and then switch to fox form using triple hit to quickly deal tons of damage. Now that's a tip! Let's learn some team fight tactics. Before entering a team fight, Liliana in human form should frequently use her first ability to harass. Be sure to get the Sage Golem buff to increase her mana regeneration so she can keep harassing. Try to hit at least two targets using the first ability, then switch to Fox form to get into the team fight. Thanks to her percentage-based HP damage, she can even take down a tanky hero. If the enemy is charging towards her, she can then use the dash while switching forms and the second ability under Fox form to escape. Liliana is squishy, so always be careful when entering a fight. Watch out for control abilities and remember to always adjust her position by switching forms. Thanks for watching. See you next time in Arena of Valor's Road to Mastery.